Hello, this is Olivia. I'm the founder of the Academy of Botanical Art, sharing art tips with you today from our program, 10 Steps, A Course in Botanical Art and Illustration. Today's tip, the beauty of Bistra. Today we're talking about the beauty of Bistra. Bistra is another word for painter's black. For centuries, artists have used black, uh, black primarily made with charcoal or tar. Bistra is made from three primary colors, red, blue, and yellow. And the concept is that instead of absorbing light the way charcoal and tar would, Bistra would refract light. And it just means that the black that you see is a little bit more vibrant. It doesn't absorb the light, it rather bounces light back off. So it's a very interesting technique to have in our in our toolbox, in our knowledge. Today I've gone ahead and already prepared the Bistra. I put it in this little tube and when you do it you have to give it a really good mix so that um, all the colors get together and you can adjust them accordingly. Um, I've also gone ahead and prepared some of the blue. So just to show you how this works, if I wanted to adjust blue in some way to make it a little bit darker, I would I'm first going to put down the blue in its pure color so you can see the difference. So here's a little patch of the blue without any bistra in it so we can see what the difference is. Okay? And now I'm going to move to the next box and I'm going to add just a little bit of Bistra to change the value. And that's what I want to do. I want to change the value and here it is. I've darkened it a little bit. Okay? Okay, on the third one I'm going to add a little bit more Bistra. I'm going to change the value even more. And on the fourth one, I'm going to add even more Bistra and change the value so that it's even darker. And so here you have three different values from the original blue to work with in perspective and you can show foreground, middle ground, background, far ground. And as you see the little Bistra chart we've made, we've done it with all the colors, yellow, red, green, violet, orange, brown, and you can take all of them and work with your Bistra to see how it works. And so this is very important to us as we are creating different planes in our painting. We want to be able to show different planes in our painting and so by taking black and making these shadow colors it's a, a good, certainly a good beginner way to understand values and then once we understand this process we can move forward to complementary colors used for shadowing. Thank you for joining us. To learn more about the Academy, visit us online, academyofbotanicalart.com.